Hello, baseball fans and sports fans and out-of-the-park baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with our opening day for the Kansas City Royals for the 2026 season. So this game will be Thursday, April 2nd, 2026 against the Twins. That's who we're opening against. Um, nobody has played any games yet that I'm aware of. So um, let's uh, just remind you of a few things. Here is my uh, history coming into this game. I have managed three seasons so far. We've gone 70 and 92. We've gone 58 and 104. And we've gone 65 and 97 most recently. So we've been very bad. We're hoping for a better season this year. Uh, if we go to um, reports and info, and we go to, um, let's see. Um, I'm looking for, there we go, preseason predictions. Let's see what they predict for us. They predict us to be 75 and 87, which, given the records I just showed you, I would take that. We should finish, in according to, according to the uh, prognosticator here, we should finish in last one game behind Detroit at 75 and 87. So let's see how close we can get to that record. Um... That would be a step in the right direction, obviously, so I would take it. So let's get on with the game. No more needing to catch people up. You're caught up now. So we are going to get on to this game. Uh, our lineup, we will be on the road in Minnesota, and our lineup will be Trent Grisham in center field leading off. Michael Massey will bat second and play second. Bobby Witt Jr. will be the third baseman batting third. Juan Soto in left, batting cleanup. Vinny Pasquatino will be the first baseman, batting fifth. MJ Melendez will be the DH, batting sixth. Nick Lofton will bat seventh and play shortstop. Gavin Cross in right field, batting eighth. And Fernando Villalobos will be the catcher, and he will bat ninth. And we have Randy Vasquez going up on uh, the mound here today. Last season, he had uh, a 468 earned run average for us and 177 innings pitched. So let's see if he can do better than that this year. Um, and then again, and then the lineup for the Twins will be Jose Salas leading off and playing right. Luis Arrays will bat second and be the DH. Carlos Correa will be the shortstop batting third. Evan Carter will bat fourth and be the left fielder. Byron Buxton will be in center and bat fifth. Royce Lewis will bat sixth and be the second baseman. Luis Urias will be the first baseman. Batting seventh, Sebi Zavala is catching for them today, and he'll bat eighth. And Ugai Rosario will be the third baseman, batting ninth. With Joe Ryan on the mound, Joe Ryan last year in our 2025 OOTP season had a 376 earned run average and 189 innings pitched. And so with that, we are going to get on with the game. So I am going to swing away, obviously. We got Trent Grisham leading off. I'm going to take a look at Target Field. And Trent Grisham is going to be out. It almost dropped, but it didn't. So there's one down. And uh, Michael Massey is the batter. Michael Massey usually hits very well for us. He strikes out there, though. And uh, Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. batting. And he looks like he's got a base hit. And that will be a single for Witt Jr. That's the first hit of the year for our Kansas City Royals here on opening day against the Twins. With Juan Soto up, a nice home run would be great. Um, but he walks. So we've got two runners on. we got something going here. Two guys on with two out. And Pasquatino is the batter, and he strikes out. So we posed a little bit of a threat there in our first inning Um uh, a batting um, of the 2026 season, but nothing came of it. Randy Vazquez out there on the mound now to deal with this Twins lineup. And that is going to be a slow roller to short, 
and he gets thrown out. Nice. One down, and Luis Arise, a very good hitter in his own right. And, uh, oh, it's just over Pasquatino's head and down into the right field corner for a double. So the Twins have a man at second with only one out here. And, uh, ooh, ooh, pass ball. Oh, you did not need to see that. So now they've got a runner 90 feet away with uh, Carlos Correa up. But he struck out. Nice. All right. So we got two down. Or no, he walked. Oh, he walked. Runners are at the corners. I was hoping that was a strikeout. Carter is up. Evan Carter. And uh, <coughs> we throw down to first, but he gets back. That's going to be a ground to second base, and we only get one out at second base. So the Twins do score a run on the fielder's choice, and they take a one nothing lead with two down and Byron Buxton up. Buxton with big power, and that's going to be a stolen base. So an inauspicious start here for our man. But that's going to be a, a foul fly ball to left field for the out. So the Twins have a one nothing lead. We're batting here in the second with MJ Melendez up against Ryan. Can that get by? No, it does not get by. He is out. Brings up Nick Lofton. Nick Lofton was not bad last year for us. But he strikes out there and that gives way to Gavin Cross. And Gavin Cross hits it up the middle, and he's out. Didn't get by the shortstop, uh, Correa, so... We go to the bottom of the second, losing one nothing. Vasquez giving up the one run in the first inning. That's going to be a little uh, pop-out to him, though, for one out. And the next guy, I just hit it really quick there, but that's going to be... a Oh, no, it's not. It's a double. I thought that was going to be out of here. So Vasquez gives up another double. He's given up his second double in as many innings pitched. And they are getting on top of him. Big time. With Sebi Zavala up. Sebi. Sebi. Not a good hitter. I'm a White Sox fan, so I know from practical experience he is not a great hitter. There's two down with a man at second and Egai Rosario, the third baseman, is going to lace it down the left field line for a base hit that's going to score the twin second run. So they're ahead 2 nothing. Vasquez, uh, yeah, not having a good outing here. And Salas is the batter, and that's going to be a walk. So he's allowing the world on base here against the Twins. That is going to be... A deep fly ball to center field for the out, but the Twins strike again for another run. It's still not out of control. It's only 2 nothing, but we aren't showing that we can touch Joe Ryan. Fernando Villavebos, our new catcher, he hits it up the middle, and he is out. Correa makes the play, and Trent Grisham is the batter. And it looks like it's getting overcast here in Minnesota. There's two down, and Michael Massey is the batter. Michael Massey is going to ground out, and so we go one, two, three in the third. Didn't need that. Losing two, nothing. You'd like to see us put something up on the board. Vasquez back out to the mound against Correa. And uh, that is going to be a deep fly ball to right. So Correa flies out to right field. There's one down. And Evan Carter is the batter. And he is going to lace a base hit, single to right field. He is aboard. Let me try a pitch out here just to try to dissuade him from stealing if he was going to think of doing that. And uh, Byron Buxton is the batter. He's going to ground to third base, possible double play, and it is, and we're out of the inning. But that's the first zero inning that Vasquez has put up in three tries. 
and we are still losing to nothing. So Bobby Witt Jr. is the batter. Now he got a base hit last time, and this time it's going to be no a fly ball to left. It didn't get down in time. Oh wait a minute! No, is that a base hit? No, he got a double. I can't believe it. It looked to me like he played the ball, like he made the catch. All right, so Soto is up with a man at second. And let's see if Bobby Witt can come around on that. He can't. But that's all fine. I mean, there's no outs. I don't want to risk it anyway. Pasquatino is the batter with runners at the corners. And that's a walk. The bases are loaded. Joe Ryan is in trouble here to our Kansas City Royals with uh, Melendez up. And Melendez strikes out. You cannot do that there, dude. You need something. Nick Lofton is the batter. And he hits a slow roller to first base. And he's out on a double play and we don't get any runs. Unbelievable. If we go to the bottom of the fourth, we had the bases loaded and no outs and we couldn't cash in. Vasquez is uh, out there back out to the mound. That is going to be a hit down the line. Vasquez is really having, I'm not very encouraged by Vasquez. And one thing that our GM, he's been able to put a decent offense together. Last year we were not bad offensively. I think we were in probably the top 10 in a lot of categories uh, offensively. But pitching wise, he just has not been able to put a good staff together. So there's a double play. Um, and... Uh, and that brings up Sebe, Sebe Zavala. And he's going he's gonna to hit a dribbler out in front of the plate. And uh, the catcher, whatever his name is, I forget his name, plays the ball. Gavin Cross is up. And by the way, I think our man, um, uh, I forget his name now. Um, but the, you know, the, big, the big name catcher for Kansas City, um, he retired. So here is Villa Lobos, the catcher, rookie. And does did he hit it out of here? No, it's going to be a fly ball to center field. So that is two down. And uh, Trent Grisham is the batter. Trent Grisham is going to ground out to third base. He's not a very good hitter anyway. And so that is the inning. We're losing 2 nothing, going to the bottom of the fifth. Vasquez is still about halfway burned up, so he's still got some juice. But, you know, he's not pitching well. And that is a problem. And that's going to be a strikeout. So there is, there is one down. And Luisa Rise, very good hitter, their best, probably their best hitter. He's going to fly out to right. And there's two down. And, uh, yeah, Salvador Perez, that's it. That's the catcher. That's the name I, that was escaping me. I think he retired, so we don't have him. We don't have Selvi anymore. And uh, we're going to the top of the sixth. We're only down 2 nothing. I mean, we're still in this game, but we just can't get anything going against Ryan. And that will be a strikeout for Massey. That brings up Bobby Witt Jr. And he is going to strike out as well. I mean, Ryan is just wasting us here. Soto is the batter. Soto gives it a ride, but it's a fly out to center field. And we come up with nothing again. And I'm going to send Vasquez back out there for the sixth. Might as well. We're losing, so it's not like I have anything to defend here. That is going to be a deep fly to center field for the first out of the sixth, of the Twins' sixth. And um, Byron Buxton is the batter. Again, a lot of power for Buxton, but he strikes out here. And that brings up Royce Lewis. Now, he's a good hitter, too. And he's going to ground out to second. So, I mean, really, I shouldn't bust on Vasquez too bad. He has allowed a lot of men on base, but he's only allowed two runs to score so far. And we are only losing 2-0 here in the top of the seventh with Pasquatino up. 
And I think they're bringing in a new pitcher, are they? Yes, Richard Lovelady is the new pitcher. And that is going to be a an out right at the uh, foul line down the right field or left field line. Melendez is the batter. So when Ryan out of the game, that gives us some kind of hope, I guess. That's going to be a ground out to shortstop for the second out of the seventh inning. And Nick Lofton is up. And that's going to be a strikeout. So we go one, two, three in the seventh. And we are going to the bottom of the seventh. And uh, I don't know how much more he really has in the tank, Vasquez. But I'm going to uh, keep him out there at least for the seventh. Don't want to burn up the bullpen, especially in a game where it doesn't look like we're playing very well. That's a walk. So there's a man aboard, and he is in the he's in the red territory now. That's going to be a double right there. So I I'm probably pitching him too long here, but you know got to preserve the bullpen. Runners are at second and third with an out, and that's going to be a walk. That was inside, and so bases loaded, and that's going to be laced down the left field line for a double that'll score two, maybe three. It scores two, it looks like. And we are losing 4 nothing now. That'll be a fly out to right on a nice play out there in right field. So there's two down, but the run scored on that, and now we're losing 5 nothing. and that's a strikeout. So he got out of the inning, he gave up some runs, though, and we're losing 5 nothing. I don't think it's going to end up ma mattering too much unless we can get the love lady, uh, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. If we, sc if we score two runs, put this one on me, but I don't think we're even going to score two runs. That was an out for the uh, first out, and I gotta warm somebody up too, uh, because everybody is tired. We are going to get um, man. I got a lot of starting pitchers out there. Um, I guess I'm going to get Turnball up. I don't even know who's in my rotation, so if Turnball is, I'm going to have to take him out. But anyway, we're going to warm him up. And i got to change their statuses to relievers because I can't have that many guys out there that I don't know who's in the bullpen and who's really in the rotation. And that'll be two outs and Trent Grisham up. Trent Grisham, of course, was an off-season uh, off signing. He was probably the biggest name signing that we had, which is this says a lot. And that's going to be a base hit for him with Michael Massey up. Now we are getting to the heart of our lineup, and that is possibly a double there. Yes, looks like that'll be a double. It might even score a run, and it does. All right, well, there's one of the two runs, and that'll bring up Bobby Witt Jr. And they're bringing in a new pitcher. It's Yoan Duran, but that's going to be a base hit. And are we going to score a run on that? We do. All right, so put it on me. We've scored two runs. So if I had taken him out, if I had taken Vasquez out earlier, we might have been able to win this game. And we might still. I mean, we got two runners on with two out here. And uh, Pasquatino, the batter. And he walks. So we got the bases loaded again. Now the, the problem is the last time we had the bases loaded, we blew it. Melendez is up. And he strikes out. So we did not get any more runs. We're losing 5-2. to two. We're down by 3. Let's go out and get... Um, Turnbull and return to the game. So Spencer Turnbull's in the game. We're down by three. That's going to be a base hit right between uh, short and third. Which brings up Royce Lewis. And that's going to be a pass ball. Again, the second pass ball for us this game. Moves the runner over to second. 
Royce Lewis is going to give it a ride to center, but it's a nice catch out there in center field by Grisham. So there's one down, and Luis Urias is up. That's going to be a base hit right up the middle, and it'll probably score a sixth run for the Twins. Well, now I don't feel so bad, because that run probably would have scored, because I probably would have brought Turnbull in anyway, and, um, you know, because Vasquez would have been tired no matter what. There's a double play, but the Twins do score another run, and it is to 6-2. We go to the top of the ninth. If we don't have four runs right here, we're done. Nick Lofton is the batter. And that's going to be a little weak ground ball to first base for the first out. Bringing up Gavin Cross. Good hitter, Gavin Cross. Right here, though, he's going to ground out to first base. So two ground outs to first base, and we have two outs with nobody on and Villalobos is the catcher and he is batting and he gets a base hit maybe he's a good young catcher that we needed uh, I really was rooting for Salvi to retire and he finally he finally did Grisham is the batter and that's gonna be a walk so we got two on now mind you we need four runs so uh, Massey is the batter now Soto is next but it doesn't matter because Massey strikes out. So that's how our opening day goes. We lose this game by the score of 6-2. to two. Um, Vasquez went 7. He allowed 8 hits and walked 4. Way too many men allowed on base. 5 runs. And uh, Turnbull pitched 1 and allowed a run. So um, we did not play a very good game on the uh, pitching and defense side of the ball. Really weren't that great offensively either. And so that is it. Um, you can see we will finish today, and then we go back to the standings. And there we are, 0-1, along with the Tigers. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.